What is up guys, Tomcat here, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. I am going to be bringing you a mod spotlight in American Truck Simulator where we're going to be hauling this massive double trailer um, with a load of corn, and we're picking it up here at one of the farm locations uh, in the game, and I'm kind of curious to see if it will if it will be like a lot of other doubles to drive, or, or if it'll be a little bit more difficult because these are full-size doubles, they're not half-size. So let's go ahead and get this truck started up. And we're back in our Volvo that we've been using in the past few episodes. And let's go ahead and re-enable our mirror as well as our GPS. And let's go ahead and back up, line ourselves up with said trailer. Get it attached. And we are at a bit of a strange angle, but we should still be able to get out of here no problem. Now this weighs in at 43 tons and the... The, it's not really the weight that's the that's like the big concern about this about this load about this trailer It's not really the weight. That's the concern It's the length of everything because it is as you can see pretty massive now Let me dis, uh, let me disable the mirrors and the GPS real quick So you guys can see the scale that we're working with here because this trailer is this trailer is extremely extremely long and really I should say these trailers are extremely long because look at that there's there's not really there's not really that much to uh like that much to work with when you're making tight turns now to be fair you will have you will have some other things to think about when you're hauling a trailer like this in terms of why do I keep saying a trailer it's 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 multiple trailers it's two but you will have m multiple things to be thinking about, not just the weight, but also the size. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and re-enable everything and get out on the road. Now, the the truck can still start off in fourth, so it's not like it's it's not like it's heavily limited or anything like that in terms of speed. I mean, it's like I said, about a 43 ton load, so it's not terrible, but it's also oh, let me turn those back on. It's also not the most uh, not the whoa god. It's not the easiest, uh, it's not the easiest thing to, to drive. Now, let's see, I'm kind of gonna, I'm kind of considering just switching up the time because I don't want to, I don't want to do this at night because at night you can't really see anything that's going on. So, let's go and let's do set time, 8 a.m., and, I mean, it may tell us our load is late, but that's fine, like, our, that our trailer is late. I don't really have an issue with that. I think the main thing that I'm, that I was concerned about is the fact that if we haul it at night, you guys literally can't see anything. Like, night is not the greatest for video, because, like, you can't, you can't focus on the truck or the trailer at all. And that's what you guys come here to see, is the trailer. So, straight flat roads this isn't really an issue uh to to pull it's actually very very easy to drive just like really any other trailer would be on a straight flat road i think the biggest the biggest area where this truck may or this truck with this combination of trailers may start to become a little different to drive is when everything gets tighter now whether or not it whether or not it will when it gets tighter remains to be seen Although, I do have to say, I figured we would be going faster right now. I mean, we're in 15th gear, foot to the floor, and it's not pulling as hard as I thought it would. I'm going to go up another gear, get it right above 1,500 RPM, pulling at 52 miles an hour. Um, it's going to take a little while for us to get up to speed. It, it's I'm, I'm starting to realize that. Now, it's not quite as bad as the giant dump truck that we hauled previously, because the giant dump truck did have a few issues, um, mainly the fact that the load hung way off of the trailer, and when when it does that, you're, you basically get into this, get into this weird balance where you can't, you can't position yourself directly in the middle of the lane. You have to work with traffic, but you also have to work with, um, obstacles on the side of the road. Now, this is gonna be our first 90 degree turn, and I'm not sure how it's gonna react to it. I'm gonna go wide just in case. Let's see. Uh, I mean, you do have to go a little bit wide because going wide like that just and I like I just barely kept it on the road. But as long as you treat it like a larger version of what a normal double would be like, it's not that bad. It's really not. It's it's oh hello. Should have paid a little bit more attention when merging. That's the other thing. The other thing is that you have to like when you're merging, you have to be really careful because these are not your normal length trailers. I mean, one of these is the length of like 
one of these is the length of one like one normal trailer. So you have to think you're 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 pulling double the length of a normal trailer. And when you think about it that way, you realize, oh, I have to really keep my wits about me right now because if I don't, I'm going to end up in a really tricky, r get possibly messed up situation if I get it wrong. Country's very pretty out here. Very, very pretty. I'm actually about to install a new uh, realistic traffic pack, which we're running one right now. I can't remember. I think we were running either version 2 or version 3, um, but version 4 just came out of, um, I believe it's Jazzy Cat's a car pack that you know for AI cars traffic cars that kind of stuff and when we when we switch over to that I think there's supposed to be a lot of new there's supposed to be a fair amount of new things like new models of vehicles uh, there's supposed to be like some motorcycles like some Harleys that ride around and stuff like that which would be kind of curious like I'm kind of curious to see how that looks um, but I think it would be kind of cool to do or to, to, to have in the game because even right now some of the car models in this traffic pack are a little bit older so it's not really like it's not really quite as authentic as it could be but right now we're just rolling at about 60 miles an hour um 18th gear full throttle uh, actually full disclosure on that full throttle because again this is going to be realistic truck performance it's not going to be like oh hello Ooh, the rover got busticated <laughs> very little traffic out here actually a surprisingly low amount of traffic it's 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 really really quiet out here in this area of the map currently i would say anyway now i've been in, i've been debating on bumping up the amount of traffic obviously you know through use of mods and i think that i might try it because you know the open roads are really really fun and to be able to go flat everywhere is really really fun but i feel like if we were to if we were to really turn up the amount of traffic that it would make the realism factor go way up and because of the fact that i have a pc to support that i mean you guys you guys see that in the um theme ng drive videos uh oh the cop pulled in behind me if this was real life i'd be a bit concerned that he was about to pull me over i'd be really concerned that he was about to pull me over but damn uh oh we're losing speed we're losing it and we're losing it quick uh let's go to about 1500 well kind of right about 1700 rpm to where we should be able to pull in the power range. We're at maximum boost right now. Uh-oh. Dropping boost. There we go. See if we can stay in that RPM range once boost hits. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Come on. Don't let me lose that many RPMs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm, tr I'm really trying to, like, I'm really trying to push it, but this thing is, I'm sure I'm holding up a bunch of traffic. I mean, I'm holding up, like, well, actually, I take that back. The other trucks in the back are not having the easiest time either. I did not know there was a mountain pass between where I was, like, where I was coming from and where I was headed to. I had no clue there was a mountain pass, and to be fair, it's not that dramatic of a mountain pass, but it's still, it's still dramatic if you're, if you're pulling a 43 or 42, 43 ton double. I mean, full-size doubles at that. Can we build speed? Nope. Nope, we cannot. Let's go back to 10th. We're going to need to. We're really going to need to here. Although I will say that the climb up the hill, while it may be a little bit slow, it just means that by the time you hit the other side, dude, the downhill section is going to be like a breeze. We're going to manage like 80 plus on the downhill side. If it's anything like this, just going downhill. Oh, man. Is that a, there is a helicopter out there. Yeah, speed limit 55 going up the hill. I don't think they have to worry about us speeding here. I really don't think they have to be concerned at all about us being, you know, about us going initial D mode with this truck. Let's go back into first person view. Oh, we're actually higher up in the RPM range than I thought. We could get into our power band more. That's 49. 49. 49 miles an hour. Hmm. Yes, delicious 49 miles an hour, my friends. 
Oh, yep, above 50 now. Really, oh, yeah, really moving. Mm, 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 really moving. Now into the, oh god, back into the, back into the MPG range of the RPMs. Trying to keep it in the power range because I'm not concerned about fuel at all. Come on, I just, there, 18th gear. Looks like we have an exit we're going to have to take down here. This is some very beautiful scenery, by the way. If you would look. Oh, my God. Is that, like, fog or smoke over there? I'm not sure. That looks a little bit more like smoke than fog. We're rolling almost 80 miles an hour now. Well, really more like 75, but there's way stations up ahead, and we should be bypassing those. Um, it just depends on, it depends on what, the, what they tell us to do. Get right around that cement truck. Uh-oh. <sighs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Did not mean to take out that Cadillac, but... <laughs> oh, the way station is only on the other side of the road. That's kind of hilarious because we don't have to deal with it over here. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. We can just go. Closing in on our destination now. And really, I wouldn't say... I would say that, that It was weird because I've done deliveries that were shorter than that, but that felt longer. Like, that felt like they took longer. This one just kind of... It felt like... It felt smooth. It felt like a breeze aside from running into that Cadillac. Welcome to... Oh, crap. I didn't... I, I wasn't close enough to read the sign. Welcome to something. Oh, this is beautiful here. Look at this scenery, guys. This is awesome. Still staggered, though, by how much passing room you have to leave for other vehicles just because of how long this trailer combo is. Oh, Reno. Oh, you know what? We're in Nevada now. Yeah, okay. Steep grades. Oh, boy. Fun. This truck plus this trailer loves steep grades. Now, if it's steep grades up, that's where it starts to become a little bit of an issue. Now, if it's steep grades down, no big deal. Gear down and use the Jake brake. Let's see. Truck works. Total truck care. Oh, well, well, actually, I take that back. There's nothing there. Although we do see, it does seem like we have a way station on this side of the highway now coming up. Well, we have one on both sides. And that one, I'm not sure if we'll have to stop there or not. I'll stay over here just in case we do, but it doesn't look like we'll have to. Don't have that many people getting off on this exit with us. Oh god, he braked a lot more than I thought he would. Like a crap ton more. Put our left indicator on. Down through the gears. I want to go down to like fourth because I know I can start from fourth. You gonna go, bro? I'm going. Yeah, nobody was coming. I'm going. Watching my mirror to make sure we make it. Oh, yeah. That double makes it just fine. Even though they're full size, it still continues to amaze me. All right, so now that we're out here, we're going to go ahead and probably, is it the one after the, this turn off? Okay, yeah, it is. So we'll be turning at the light. Slowing down, slowing down. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, look at that massive Cadillac right there. That thing is nuts. Okay, he's not going anywhere. I can actually pretty much keep a normal line. Pretty much. That's what I love about these double trailers, is that even though they're insanely long, you can still maintain fairly normal lines. I'm going. I know I'm going to get a red light penalty, but I was like, I'm still going. Oh, I forgot I had those off. <laughs> Alright, so, here we are. Let's go ahead and go back into... Oh, God. We're going to wait for that guy to go. Unless he'll let us in. Nope. This is going to be a bit of a tight fit. 
You know what? Looking at this right now, I can tell you our trailer's gonna get stuck. So, <laughs> so, we're gonna actually let them park it because I know that our trailer's gonna get stuck in that. But, we ended up finishing that delivery um, with an excellent rating, and in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and go into a different, probably, we may actually go into a, go into a different truck um, just to investigate it, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.